not once, but twice. All of us wait all year long for this. I'm Charlie Belcher. Who needs canoeing and archery? These kids look forward all year to theater camp. Clock News, where there's no world like Charlie's world. Okay, once the theater bug bites you, that love of the stage does tend to follow you forever. Ouch! <laughs> in, Ch in Charlie's world tonight, we're going to meet some people who are uh, exposing a whole new generation to that uh, biting bug. I'm telling you, there's It's hard to imagine watching Joe on stage that he used to be shy. He's great. He believes everything. He's really gullible. And it's almost unthinkable to imagine Leah not comfortable in front of an audience. It's all for the best. But Leah and Joe have been transformed thanks to Teens on Tap. And TAP stands for Theater Arts Project. Three years ago, I was, I was very shy. Like, I, I wanted to get up on stage, but I, I was so frightened to get up on stage. Now he thrives in the footlights. When Leah was little, even speaking in public was frightening. Through theater, I just, I'm, not, I'm outgoing now, and I just, it broke me out of my shell. Leah's story is even more significant because she inspired this summer theater camp. Four years ago, she met Cindy Marcus, her husband, Flip Kobler, and their friend, Dennis Poor. Leah told them there were few theater opportunities for kids ages 12 to 18. When I was a teenager, just a few years ago, um, um, I went to Why are they program. laughing at that over there? Do not laugh at that over there! Yes! Yes! Remember! <laughs> You're all fired! <laughs> what Cindy's trying to say is she remembers the importance of a theater camp she attended as a teen in California. So she... Flip and Dennis created this one. Our first summer, you know, we're, you know, Leah's mom was calling everybody she knew, please come and try this program because we didn't know if it could work. And now we're on 65 with the wait list. And these camp creators are the real deal. Dennis wrote the music to the cult classic Earth Girls Are Easy. Cindy and Flip are a successful writing team. My husband and I wrote um, Simba's Pride, which was the sequel to Lion King, and we wrote the sequel to Beauty and the Beast and the sequel to Pocahontas, so we were on staff at Disney for many years. They share what they know with the kids, who perform two original shows, as well as take classes in everything from writing to stagecraft. This program teaches kids cooperation, it teaches them leadership, it teaches them um, how to deal with mistakes. It helps you as a person, not just as an actor. We call it the theater bug here, because like the theater bug bites you and you never go back. None of these kids are looking back, only toward the lights of a bright future. Reporting from Charlie's World, I'm Charlie Belcher. Now the kids show opens this Thursday at the Francis Wilson Playhouse in Clearwater. For ticket information and for anything else you need to know about the camp, go to myfoxtampabay.com, click on news, then offbeat, and that will take you to Charlie's World. And I think it, when, if that was, camp was around when you were young, you would have been there. I would still be there, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I only get nervous when I'm not on stage. You Ex know? Exactly. Well, the Rays need to win. They haven't won since the All-Star. They're game. making Joe Madden a little nervous.